Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 are very similar in how visually stunning each look with narrative structures that are able to rival most films seen in theaters. Now, GTA 6 has a lot to live up to and while the last trailer we saw on the surface visually surpasses its Rockstar Games predecessors, there are a few things that the devs might want to take into consideration throughout the development process of GTA 6. You're back, man. We are back. Now, from RDR2's extreme weather cycles to the constant post-launch content we've seen in GTA Online, there's lessons to be learned from what Rockstar has done in the past. But what are some of the most important items gamers would want to see in order to truly bring GTA 6 to great heights? What took you so long? What took you so long? <laughs> well, today, we're joined by Mike York, a man who's been there in the past at Rockstar, lending his animation skills to both GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, you might have even seen his reaction video to the first GTA 6 trailer where he said this. When you play this game, it's really gonna look like this. It's gonna look just like this. It's gonna be incredible. Cannot wait. Because the, the artists over there really know how to push the consoles and the, the hardware to the limits. Now we're gonna go a little bit deeper, discussing what we hope to see in GTA 6 and what features we hope to see in Rockstar's latest iteration of the franchise. Now to note, this is merely speculation and nothing we say here is official confirmation from Rockstar. Now we're merely doing a deep dive and having Mike weigh in given his expertise. Well enough talk from me, I'm Akeem, and this is GTFM. Now joining me right now to dive into what we're hoping to see in next year's biggest game, GTA 6, is iGen's very own Nick Limone and special guest Mike York, aka York Reacts. How are y'all doing? How are you doing hey, specifically? How's it going, guys? Mike, how are you, man? Well, thanks for having me. How's it going? Good, dude? good. Thank you for having me. Of course. Now, uh, Mike, you know, you worked uh, at Rockstar uh, back in 2012 through 2017 as an animator. You worked on Red Dead Redemption 2 and Grand Theft Auto 5. So I thought you would be the, the perfect person for us to kind of just like dive deeper into what we're hoping to see uh, next year in GTA 6. So like based on and based upon what, what we've seen so far in the, in the first trailer of GTA 6 uh, and your experience having worked on Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5, uh, do you think Rockstar is really going to be pushing the limits when it comes to GTA 6? Yeah, I mean, definitely. That's all they do, that's all they do there, if you want, um, you know, my opinion on it. It's like one of those things I always refer to them when I talk to my friends of like, they're kind of like the Pixar of gaming, mm. right? When, I, mm. when I'd seen like a Pixar movie, they open the drawer and they even have, you know, items in the drawer scuffed and messed up and dusty in there. And they would never skip a beat on every little detail. And that's what how Rockstar is. They, they really kind of go the extra length on stuff and they, they make sure that they try to hit every detail they can and push the hardware to the limits. And not every company does that. Nowadays, you don't see that push to the limits and they really do. And I know they do because I've seen it around me, right? I've seen the guys milling about trying to push the memory to the limits and stuff like that. So I know kind of confidently as a, as a fan now and now as like a player waiting for the game, I know that I'm going to get like a really good product. I'm like, because I know they don't play around. They're not going to release it till they're ready. They're not going to, you know, even though they can't test it as much as I'd like to, them to be able to test it. Um, I know it's going to be the best they can, they can give it to us as so. Yeah, I'm stoked on it. I, I remember watching uh, one of you, you did, you did a GTA, you reacted to the first GTA 6 uh, trailer. And based upon your reaction, I mean, you got me hyped because you, you were saying just how accurate it was going to be that what we were seeing is actually what what we're actually going to get. Right. Because I knew. Well, because I know as a developer, a lot of games will like pre render stuff and you got to wait. And then you see like a little like black screen and then you you're watching that. That's not what you're seeing. And the reason why they're doing that usually is because they're trying to like pump up the pump up the volume on everything, right? Mm -hmm. They're trying to make it better because it, they can't make it really look that good in game. But what's impressive is Rockstar really does <laughs> make it look that good in game. And it's usually because of how much like all the artists are optimizing all the textures and the and the things they've learned, at least this is from my experience that they've learned in a better way than a lot of the other developers. They've learned other processes that are more 
uh, streamlined because of how many games they've made. They've made so many open world games that they know LODs probably better than anybody mm -hmm. as far as how, how to stream in objects as you're going over hills and, and, and all that different stuff. And so, yeah, it's really cool. I'm, I'm confident knowing that they're going to be pushing all that stuff and that it's going to be, you know, look great in game. Yeah. Not, it, you know, there's not going to be no cut scene or something. And if it is, I know it's going to be probably in game. One of the things that really um, that spoke to me from your initial trailer react was you kind of did a, a slowdown of the trailer and then watched it back. And then you kind of froze on the beach scene. And initially when I had watched the trailer, I had my initial skepticism of like, is this trailer just bull shots? You know, is this something that's designed to sell a tone, designed to get people hyped up? But when you said, no, this is, this is what Rockstar does. They work in engine and they are capitalizing on the things that they do. Uh, like well uh, the thing that stood out to me is in the beach scene you commented on the different body types and all of the bespoke right. animations that were happening all at once and it made me stop the trailer go back to the original gta 5 trailer the original debut <laughs> trailer and watch and i was like oh wait that is all in game so yeah, yeah. They, they have a track record for doing stuff like this and the fact that there is I believe that this was a bull shot. So the fact that it is in engine has me so excited. And I think that you did such a good job of breaking down why people should be excited in just that one scene. Well, right on. Yeah. And I think that like that scene goes to show you how, how much thought they're taking into making a, a scene, right? A lot of times in those scenes that you see like in a trailer, and this goes for every company, not just Rockstar, but a lot of companies will will up it up a little bit they will they will pump it up yeah. meaning that like they're only showing you the beach right there and they're not they don't they're not showing you the whole other world right now so they might as well add a couple more uh pedestrians add a couple more little things in there they're not going to push it too far so that when you go play the game you're like hey what the heck man dude this is uh, you know they showed a beach with a hundred people now there's one dude sipping a, a, a you know my tie because like, <laughs> because that that immediately makes you like what the f you know but like for instance i was playing last night on my stream and we walked into the strip club and the strip club felt kind of dead there's a couple strippers there there's a couple people milling about but it goes to show you they were limited at that time to how much stuff they could put in the strip club. I guarantee you Rockstar wanted to put 50 people in there milling about and 20 people at the bar asking for stuff. And But no, 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 no. The engine wouldn't even handle that at the time, right? So like, but now... Things have changed with the new, with the, with all these new technologies, and like I don't know what what they're using over there, of course. But with Unreal Engine, with Nanite, and these different things, it's it's increasing the density of things that you can put in a scene. And it goes to show you that when you see the trailer, like in GTA 6 trailer, when they go to that like club and that girl's like bouncing her butt on the stage and everyone's going crazy and you see like bottles popping off and spraying, that they look like there's like a hundred people in that yeah. club, and and. That's what it really feels like when you go in a club. You like can't even move when you go in a club in Miami. You you're like stuck in one spot because of how packed it is. And I'm I'm stoked and hoping that they can kind of create that or recreate that feeling if they got more power now, you know, in the systems and whatnot, and they figured out ways to add more pedestrians in there and stuff. Yeah, and that's that's one of the features that I really want more. I'm, I'm hoping to see in GTA 6 is just like hyper realistic environments. Uh, so I, I want to kind of let, let's start with what we we want to see or what we're hoping to see certain features that we want to see uh, in GTA 6. Uh, maybe maybe they're borrowing from like uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 or GTA 5. So like, you know, Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 uh, has hyper realistic environments, weather cycles, wildlife, uh, right. immersive NPC interactions, impactful slash interesting side missions. Uh, you might remember the Marco uh, Dragic uh, and his robot yes. uh, mission. So like, I'm, I'm hoping, what, what, what are we hoping to see on that side of things uh, as far as Red Dead Redemption 2 is, is related? What I'm, hoping, what I'm hoping to see is I'm hoping to see a lot of those side missions and those mm -hmm. Stranger Freak missions and all yep. that stuff because that, those are really, really fun and they take you on a different path. And a lot of that stuff has a cool Easter eggs and, and lore to it. And and that's what Rockstar does best. They, I mean, there's stuff still in GTA 5 that people haven't figured out. What, it's been 10 years? What the? F like, dude, you would think that like that. it's incredible to see that they put the thought into a lot of these things because 
they kind of know that these people like the lore and the, and a lot of the players are into that mm-hmm. type of stuff. So yeah, I, I'm like Red Dead showed a little piece of that and they've showed a lot of, and you want that. Like in Red Dead, when you get in there, you just want to explore. You're in no rush to go do a mission. And that's what's great about Red Dead Redemption 2, right? And, and that feeling of an open world game. I'm hoping that in GTA 6, they like, do a lot more of that that they that they really kind of like double down on that i i understand that it's going to take them a lot of time and effort to to create all of those little missions of course but i hope to see that i hope to see a lot of stranger missions i want to see them utilize the character switching to Mm. to its potential because a mission I played last night was so fun because you're switching between Franklin, switching between Michael, and switching between Trevor, shooting a rocket, and it is absolute chaos. And it's fun as a player, switching between them, and, and right when it's getting too hairy with one, you can switch to the other one and kind of know that, eh, it's a video game. That guy's probably not going to die. He'll be all right. <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's that it's that fun aspect of, of, as a player, being able to kind of like bounce around the scene and play as different people is really fun. And I hope they take that to a new level. I hope that this kind of Bonnie and Clyde feel that we're seeing in GTA 6 is is shown. There's like a guy on the, maybe, there, you know, during the car chase, you're caught on the hood of the car and you're flying around. And so you're switching to the guy on the hood and you're trying to hold on to the car with different, you know, like game controls. And then you switch to the girl and you're, you're driving and shooting out the window. And mm-hmm. I'm really hoping that it, it feels like that, like this really fast paced thing where your character switching a lot because, because it's meant to be switched in the story to enhance it, you know, cause they got some cool game mechanics kind of that they can push further. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm assuming like the, uh, the character switching will probably be seamless uh, and a lot more quicker than it was in GTA five. We've already seen glimpses of that with stuff like Ratchet and Clank and um, Spider-Man 2, just the kind of ability to instantly transport yourself to another part of the city. So I I think Mike hit the the nail right on the head um, with what what I'm personally hoping to see. And I think to extrapolate that a little bit further, uh, this might be a little bit sacrilegious to say, I want GTA 6 to slow down a little bit. Whereas I feel like GTA 5 was very much go, go, go with its gameplay. Red Dead Redemption 2 is very methodical. Yeah. You have to rummage through cupboards with, again, those bespoke animations of you like, oh, I opened a cupboard, let me get this carton of cigarettes and do all that stuff. I want that kind of methodical pacing, not only with just the small moments in GTA 6, but also like the heist. When you're holding up a liquor store, I want to be able to swap to Lucia, who's holding the dude at gunpoint and threatening him. Meanwhile, I can swap over to Jason and then go through the back room and start rummaging through the Safe. And it's like we were both keeping an eye on the, you know, the, the front entrance and making sure the police don't arrive. But but that that ability to sell the illusion of a lived in world and that you aren't this, um, you know, uh, five star threat of a one man army mm-hmm. and that you are just another being in this world who is susceptible to bullets the way NPCs are. I want Rockstar to continue to sell that illusion that they mm-hmm. established with Red Dead Redemption, too. Another thing I'd like to see is uh improved facial animations because i know they can do it i you know i've and i know they're probably not going to use this technology anymore but la noir was a Mm. good example of like what can be done in today's tech of of the capturing technology and with the new like meta human and the stuff that they're doing with unreal engine 5 who knows what Rockstar's cooking over there in their little kitchen. And they might be cooking up something that we're, is going to blow our minds, right? So I'm really hoping on that type of thing, on better facial animation technology and, and seeing yeah. some of that there. And the combat mechanics kind of being tweaked and different things. Because I think that all that stuff uh, needs a little bit of a rework. Like the way you, you aim and you do different things... Um, felt outdated in the last one and i feel like th- they know that as developers it's been said from other people and i feel like it- it'll we're gonna see a new kind of version of that or i'm hoping to see that right i'm hoping to see a little faster kind of mechanics and easier way to traverse around the world like when you climb up stuff and mm-hmm. jump stuff and i'm hoping that feels cleaner and less clumsy per se as you're trying to traverse around the world yeah 
I love the point about uh, like advanced facial expressions. I'm hoping that we do see see that. I mean, like with meta humans, so much as possible. You know, we have Kojima. He's playing around with that with uh, his yeah. upcoming game OD. OD. <laughs> Hopefully, he's not the only the only person that's smart enough or wise enough to actually take advantage of that. So. Uh, hopefully Rockstar, they're kind of cooking things up in that regards. Um, one, one other thing I want to talk about, uh, let's talk about uh, post-launch support. Like that's really what I, and also post-launch content. That's one thing that I'm really hoping that we see in GTA 6. Like we didn't get much for GTA 5, but we got a lot for GTA online. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what are our thoughts on that? You know, you mentioned something about like kind of like DLC. It sounded like what you're saying is extended single player stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I always think to me, I think that's kind of funny because you're immediately asking for, for more, for more. <laughs> or then they, they just get like, cut. that's a typical like mm-hmm. fan thing to do. And it, like they're already packing so much into the single player missions that me personally, I already know that they're they're dumping so much effort into that. But I'm hoping that they, they figure out some way to port and merge uh the online world of five and six Mm. i hope they're able to make a blend to where you transfer your character over but you're just using the new gta 6 character models Mm -hmm. and but you can use your stats and blend them over because a lot of people have dumped a lot of time into gta 5 online and it'd be cool to somehow mesh the two that you don't as a player you don't feel robbed of any of the stuff you bought before you can kind of come into this new gta 6 world and have fun but who knows that probably won't happen because a lot of that it, it needs to be reset as a gaming design thing so like you don't want um let's let's just put it this way you don't want a million players coming in that already have rocket launchers and tons <laughs> of money yeah I- into a game where no one's ready yet and so you have to reset things and so i understand that part i'm hoping there's some way that they can blend it i, I just don't know what that is yet you know um who knows how the how they're gonna do the online bit because that's hard when we when I was working on the online mode, uh, we all kind of knew or I knew that like it's going to be something that you put out there and you can only test so much and you can do so much. But once this game hits live and it's public, whoa, it, you know, at Rockstar, there's only a thousand of us at the time. And, and you know, all of us are trying to test it. But when you release the game to millions of people <laughs> at once, they're uh, holy moly all kinds of bugs start popping up the servers start you know you can try to test the 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 servers i believe you know they try to do that but wow it's it's unprecedented when it comes to gta 5 and and, or you know grand theft auto like this franchise right like gta 6 is going to be even bigger and i bet you the the day launch of online is going to crash and everyone's going to be like ah (laughs) But that's the name of the game. Everyone's trying to get in all at once. And the, literally the internet society and satellites cannot handle mm-hmm. all of us trying to play at GTA today. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen. Even though, and everyone's going to go, oh, they're a multi-billion dollar company. How come they couldn't put their own satellite up there? And, and it's like, dude, guys, <laughs> you can, they don't get it. Like you can only do so much. I've seen it personally. Okay. I've worked at multiple companies, multiple launches of games online and almost every single one is buggy in the beginning surely like purely off of the fact of there's so many people Mm -hmm. trying to play at once Mm -hmm. and there's all this stuff going on and once one thing kind of sprouts and uh you know uh there's a kink in the line right and there's like a spray in the water everything like you know so it i'm hoping it runs all smoothly but we'll see i also know as a player and as a developer to be patient with it and whatever they do with online i'm gonna like wait a little bit i'm not gonna rush in there day one i'm not i'm gonna wait like a week for for things to kind of simmer down for the servers to get figured out and yeah because i know from experience that's what happens yeah i'm i'm, I'm fairly certain that we're not going to get online too soon like no, I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty I, I guarantee like maybe six months to maybe a year possibly you know i mean like give they, people time to finish single player exactly <laughs> yeah yeah also because like i mean it's going to be it's going to be like probably something that they're going to be trying to uh they're going to be supporting for years on end kind of similar to what we see right going on right now with gta online mm-hmm. but again i'm hoping for some some dlc some gta 6 dlc uh, now final question overall what are we hoping to see in gta 6 let me start with you mike the main thing I'm excited for is this this new storyline. I'm 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 stoked to see what they're gonna do with it and how they're gonna how you this female protagonist is gonna play a role, you know, and how how for you as a player, mm-hmm. right? And and I'm excited to see um, what they're gonna do in that city. 
I've been to that city. I've been I've been around that city. I've I've spent so I'm excited to see what they do to bring it to life and the alligators. I saw you guys' little alligator over there on the floor. <laughs> so I'm hoping yeah, to it's see some really cool Yeah, I'm uh, that's what I'm hoping to see from GTA six is stuff that people can relate to and that we it brings us to the roots of GTA, right? Why why we all love playing these games, all the funny moments, the strangers, like all that stuff combined. I hope that we don't skip a beat. Right, it just kind of blends right into six, and all of us just go right in and have a blast with it, you know. Yeah, there's yeah. definitely going to be lots of strangers and freaks. Uh, definitely, I, I'm hoping that we see that that Joker Florida man, <laughs> who, who's just been running wild right now, uh, demanding ten million dollars. Escalating. <laughs> yeah, wow. In real life, mm -hmm. um, for for me, I'm hoping to see more uh, more uh, interiors. It's it's GTA Six is rumored to have what seventy percent of its buildings enterable. That that's the rumor. That'd be that's, cool floating around. Um, so I'm hoping to, to, to do that. Cause you know, it's, it's one thing Well, you know, you see these beautiful, these massive, these massive constructions and it's like, I want to go in there. I want to go into more than just like a, you know, a yeah. convenience store or, or, you know, the wherever, you know what I mean? I want to, I want to do more. I want to enter more buildings. And I feel like that's well, something that a lot of fans are going to want. In order to do that, in order to have a building, like a, a massive skyscraper that is all enterable, all these, most of the time it's going to be um how do you say this Compu like generated random generated when something mm. is fully sculpted by hand sort of right every item is placed by hand and intentionally done from what i understand as a developer that bogs down the engine more it's resource and, and, intensive and so, right yeah it's mm. more resource intensive exactly this kind of newer tech that's coming in this newer way of kind of making environments um, in the current game I'm working on, we're, we're, we're doing stuff like that, where it's randomized, where every time you enter a room, the room is different. It, the, the, and, and the reason for that is because it's being randomly generated. If they're able to figure out a really clean tech that's able to, as you're progressing through this building, as you're about to go upstairs, it's going blah, 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 and like random, then yeah, they might be able to do something like that and have a ton of buildings that, you, you know, in the past, no, no, it, you couldn't. It was like one of those things where it's like a sheer fact of you just couldn't do it. But now they're figuring out like these new ways of, of doing things with randomizing and generating stuff in the engine that it, it's it might be possible. We might see that. Ooh, I'm you know, excited. That's yeah. yeah th thanks for that. What about you, Nick? A uh, big thing, I keep harping on it, but I think it's what matters to me. It's what drew me in so deep to uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is just the density. Like, it, it feels more like a living, breathing world to me than GTA 5 did with just play uh, NPC routines, the animal ecosystem. You know, there's predator, there's prey. They all have bespoke behaviors that, you know, they act the way they should. And uh, I, I found myself compelled to just, like, people watch a lot more in Red Dead Redemption 2. So I would love to be able to do something like that in a more modern setting like Vice City uh, in GTA 6. But in addition to the single player stuff, um, one thing that I really want from GTA Online is some sort of uh, developer supported tool set that incentivizes and encourages and facilitates uh, uh, GTA Online role play. Because like GTA 5 yeah. has had a resurgence in online thanks to the role play servers that people have generated and it's brought like people who have thought they were done with GTA Online a long time yeah. ago back into GTA Online. So I would love some sort of tool set that allows uh, that sort of thing to carry forward in a GTA Online for role playing because it's so much fun. Absolutely, and it, it breathes new life into it. Like that's what, what it did with GTA Online. Uh, like GTA GTA RP just breathed new life into it. What, what, what are your thoughts on that, Mike? You know what? I could see myself doing a bunch of the RP stuff and having a server because I'm kind of like that. I'm imaginative. I play around with stuff. I you know, and a community bounces off of that. And not mm -hmm. only that, but like. In the RP servers, you people are like finding real friends and like marriages and crazy stuff like oh, that. Wow. Probably, you know, people are reading, meeting like real authentic connections, and you can tell that like they're kind of playing around with each other. And they know th that's what's fun about the RP is that these people know it's fake, but they also kind of uh, play play along with it, right? They're role playing. And so it's really fun to see it, it, and I hope they do. And I, I've heard that they have bought some kind of like a team of, or they hired a team that was working on servers like that and the RP, yeah. uh, something of that that realm. And I think that's cool because that goes to show they might do that. They might mm -hmm. help out, you know, and give some tools to people. And I hope they do because it's going to open the community even more uh, to to uh, 
to custom stuff, custom events, custom games, and it can only make it more fun and more stuff to do in the game. And, and if you ask me, it only makes the players stay in the game more. So I would feel that Rockstar would be behind it, you know, hopefully. I mean, yeah, it's like you said, I mean, they've been very supportive of the RP community because again, it's it's been keeping it's been keeping it alive. Like, you know, Twitch streamers have, you know, have RP servers and whatnot, um, like prominent Twitch streamers. So like they, they're really supportive of it. So hopefully that's something that they will- I wanna own at. a liquor store in Vice City. I, what can I doesn't? say? I just wanna own a liquor store in real life <laughs> so I can drink it. <laughs> Uh, anyways, Nick, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Mike York, thank you for joining us. Thank as, you so much. As usual, as not Thanks, as guys. usual, hopefully as usual. We would love to have you back. <laughs> I want to have you back. Sure, maybe you want, who knows? Maybe not. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Anytime. And we can find you over at York Reacts on your YouTube channel. You're also streaming on Twitch. Uh, yeah, we're going to have the links in the description down below. Uh, I'm Akeem Lawanson. This is IGN and GTFM. <laughs>